Sin is an inevitable and yet a difficult part of human life. No person is perfect and so no person is without sin. There are many things that cause sin. Note what Jesus says. Things that cause people to sin are bound to come. But woe to that person through whom they come. Committing sin is a terrible thing. But leading others to sin or causing scandals is even more terrible. Jesus severely warns us that one who causes others to sin would bring on oneself a severe judgment. Jesus says that the person who commits such a sin will be plunged into the deep sea with the weight of a huge millstone. The very fact that Jesus chooses the picture of a huge millstone is to make us aware of the gravity of the sin of leading others to sin. Dear friends, we are a Christian community of disciples with Christ as our master. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. We have a responsibility towards each other. A responsibility not to scandalize, but to correct the wrongdoings, to forgive and to receive forgiveness. As disciples of Christ, as brothers and sisters, there is to be a sense of forgiveness among us, no matter how grave the sin is against us, no matter how big the stumbling block is put in our path. If a person sins against us, we are to correct him of his wrongdoing. The correction has to be done with the spirit of love and compassion and not with the judgmental spirit. And if one truly repents of one's offense, we are to forgive the person time and again, even seven times a day. These responsibilities seem to be impossible to us because our faith is weak, too weak to be free from ever causing another to stumble, too weak to be so loving and compassionate that we could forgive a person time and again, even seven times a day. To actualize these seemingly impossible responsibilities, what we need is a strong faith in Christ. It is not just a matter of increasing faith, but a genuine faith in the power and love of Christ, that His power and love may infill and permeate our whole being. The very smallest amount of genuine faith, a faith as small as a mustard seed, can do the impossible. A genuine faith gives us the boldness to believe that our request will be answered. Nothing is impossible to him who has a genuine faith in Christ, even if the faith is the smallest amount possible. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, grant us a faith so strong, fervent and genuine that we may be free from ever causing another to stumble, that we may be so loving and compassionate to forgive a person time and again, even seven times a day.